Hi, my name is Gail from the Handcrafters Hub. You should have received your bunting pack from Amina and today we're going to show you how to put it all together. Go and grab your bunting pack and a pair of scissors and we'll begin. Right, this is what you should have received in your pack. I've only got one set of colours here where you will have two. What we're going to do first of all is get the tape and we're just going to fold it in half. What we need to do is put a nice long arrow on it, not a short one, a nice long one, and we're going to cut that. When we come to put the tape together and put the buntings inside here, it'll take away the bulk and you'll understand. Right, once you've cut it, turn it in and turn it together. Just like that, it makes a nice neat edge. Put one of the clips on and then we're ready to start stitching. Right, now what we're going to do is your thread. Don't take too much thread because you will end up getting knots in it. If you take about three foot, thread the needle. And not one end. Knot it over a couple of times so that when you pull the knot doesn't disappear through the fabric. Let's try and get two together. There we are. See it's all nice and smooth. That's it. We're all ready to stitch now. Right now we're going to start stitching the tape. You see where you folded it over inside, there's not a lot of bulk there, so you've only got two pieces of fabric. If you'd have done it short, you'd have had about four pieces of fabric to stitch through. So we're going to take the top one, bring it up, as you can see, and then the tail that's left on after your knot, we just put that, push that inside out of the way. Okay. Just a straightforward stitch. All we're doing, we're making the ties for you to hang your bunt in. I'm just going to make it nice and neat. Oops, underneath there, just like that. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on through the pair, both through both of them. doing like a running stitch. And what we're going to end up doing is about 10 inches of just folding that, clipping it, stitching, folding, clipping, and stitch in until you've got about 10 inches. That makes a decent tie for when you come to put it on the wall or if you want to tie it in a bow. This is my 10 inches. I've stitched that now for the tie. What I'm going to do now is add the first flag. Right, get your flag, insert it into the middle. You can see that there's a bit of a groove in the fabric. Just put it up to one side, fold it over, clip it in place all the way along. This just holds it together quite easily when you're doing your stitching. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just carry on with the same piece of thread up to the edge of the flag. a knot. Let's see if I can get rid of my knot. There we are. Got rid of that. Stitch. Now when it comes to the flag, 
I'll put a couple of stitches in here just to make it more secure right on the corner and we're not going to go all the way through because we're just doing the tape on this side so it's down into the felt up under the tape move along into the felt up into the tape just try and keep your stitches as small as possible you're not going to see a lot of them anyway Just carry on like this. Carry on all the way along until all this top part is done. Once we've put all the felts on, we'll start at the other end and come back. That's my red first flag in. What we're going to do now, put the second flag in. Take the end, put the two points together keeping it in that groove, flip it over, take it all the way along, and then we're just going to finish off the red one, so that's my last stitch on there, and when we come to the middle, just for security, two stitches, like we did for the ties, put this bit together, at the beginning, another two for security, back onto the orange flag into the felt, up through the tape and just work all your way along like that. After the orange one you do the next one, just carry, carry on. If you come to a part where you've run out of thread, when you've got enough thread on your needle just double knot it, we'll stitch twice there and then on the second one just take the thread through the loop, pull it, do that a couple of times, through the loop and that gives you a knot. Cut it off and just push your tail underneath. Then you can get yourself another piece of uh, thread Another couple of knots in the end. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you start off again. Into the tape. And you can hide that tail underneath. Secure it. And then just carry on stitching as nothing's happened. Won't be any weak spots and you won't be able to see it. Just hide the tails out of the way. And that's it. It's all coming together lovely. After you've done the orange, just carry on. Work your way through the colours. Right, I'm on my last colour. I'm just finishing off. And then we're going to measure the tails, the, the ties on the end, so that they're the same size. So, just finishing this off. Double stitch it. Now on the second stitch, I'm just going to tie it off just so we've got a bit of security because I'm going to leave it 
but I'm going to leave it attached. So that goes through there. Right. What we're going to do now is measure our tails. You've got more than enough on here. I'm just making a single one, one of each colour, because I'm going to put mine in the window. I'm just going to show our support for key workers. It's up to you if you want to do the two or the one. Now, these backs yet are not stitched on, so we'll leave that just for a moment. Move my needle. Right, so your first bunting and your last bunting, just clip them together. Okay. Pull this out. Let's have that other clip. Clip it in place. And just measure. where it's going to be and then what we're going to do again just like we did at the beginning is put a nice say there a nice cut in it nice long one take the bulk out fold it under there you are put a clip on the end and if you're anything like me, you just want to double check the length. Perfect. So what I'm going to continue doing now, <clears throat> the same as when we started. Stitch your tape together. all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. Once you've got to the end, do a knot, clip it, and then start on the back. And all you have to do then, you don't have to worry about any of the tape, it's just all these backs along here, All the way back down to the beginning, finish, and that's it. Your bunting's done. <laughs>